babies. Kiku, my babies. Welcome to Inside the Ant Farm. Hey, so hey, we got some we got another beer here because. Uh, I also thank George uh, for a, for the wedding of Ryan Wonderland and Kristen Source Stanky. Wonderland. I don't know if she took her name. I think she did. Kristen Wonderland. Well, I don't know if she put Source as her middle name or not, like like some people do. Uh, some people. Definitely last name is Wonderland, but uh, we were up there. So, I, of course, I brought back some Lake George beers thanks to the Adirondack Brewing Company. Dirty. They're brewed and bottled in the Adirondacks. A hoppy, unfiltered American pale ale. Roast. Oh, that was tasty. How you doing, big guy? Uh, I think I think one of the uh, top. I did a survey, and one of the top uh, choices was people want to hear how you're doing. I don't, don't really care about the news or anything. I don't believe that. They just want to know what don't what's going on in your life. I don't know who you surveyed, but oh, it was just me. My wife. No, just you and your wife. Like, I don't want to know. Actually, your wife was the other person in the survey, and she said she wanted to hear more about porks. Obviously, they're adorable. Um, they're adorable beakless penguins. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, can't complain. You know, I, I have a weekend off for once. That's so always sounded convincing. I like that you yeah. like, can't complain. Yeah, I got, I'm, I got, I'm, who's gonna listen? Shout, shout, let it all out. I always think who's gonna listen if I complain? No one. So, no. So I went to a uh, wedding in Lake George. Uh, we, we stayed at Still Bay, uh, which is a little bit around the lake, but then we, uh, closer to the Lake George Village. But then the wedding itself was in Silver Bay, in the chapel, uh, performed by Sal, uh, San Marco. Uh, St. Marco? St. Marco. St. Marco, right? St. Marco, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. St. Marco. Don't be worried. Um, and he, he and his wife, I actually got to meet Allison for the first time, which was nice. Yeah. Um, and, uh, of course, the whole, and the entire Wonderland clan was there. Uh, everyone from the bachelor party was there, which is fun, because uh, I took the bachelor party a couple weeks ago, and we had a good time there. Um, the... The venue for the reception was at Still Bay as well. Because basically, we took over their. Uh, Ryan bought out their whole resort for the weekend. Wow. Uh, yeah, and it was it was nice. Uh, they actually set up a uh, giant tent for the reception. It was it was cool. It was fun. They had a little dance floor, but they all, it was mostly sand because it was right on the beach. Um, they had a fun little boathouse that was really chill. Uh, a couple nights before the uh, uh, reception and wedding. Um, and the, uh, the wedding itself was, it was, a uh, was a tasteful and beautiful ceremony. And, and, uh, our own Connor Wonderland was a ring bearer, uh, which was fun too. He made friends with the other ring bearer, who's a, a little five-year-old named Max. Um, and, uh, it was, it was, it was fun all in all. It was a little stressful because it was, you know, Connor was away from, for a long time, so he gets a little crabby. And also he didn't want to wear clothing for anything. Yeah, he actually, uh, um, well, tracks, I was, uh, so, so basically, like, we tried to get him in a ring, the ring bear outfit, which was a white shirt, gray pants, uh, shoes didn't matter, but he had these cute little boat shoes, um, a bow tie, and suspenders. So I got him in the shirt, pants, and the sword of the shoes, uh, I tried to get the bow tie and suspenders on him, and he literally, like, fought me, he fought me, like, hard, like, tried to punch me, and, like, tried to throw it, like, and I was just like... And so, so like, I got to the point where I was just like, I was trying to like just stop him from, from going crazy. And I was, luckily I hadn't dressed first because I was just sweating. Like I sweat through the shirt I was wearing, trying to calm him down and like trying to like get him to put on the stuff. And, but then just trying to calm him down because he wouldn't, he wouldn't put on the stuff. Um, it turned out okay though. We, we actually had uh, Valerie Setting, fan of the podcast, um, talk, uh, Talk to him with with Jamie, and then they they got him to finally just be like like hey like hey buddy you, you're fighting this for no reason your buddy's your little friend Max is wearing this stuff already and I guess he put up a fight too but they, he he eventually relented. Five year olds are a little more yeah. cognizant at least. Yeah. Than, well, and, and that's the thing like like it was, it was trying to understand the reason with Connor like your buddy's gonna wear the same thing man I'm look dad's got a, he's gonna have a bow tie too like no no I'm like. Oh, God. Aiden was two when he uh, when he was a reaper at Tim and the Steph's wedding, and he was he was Abraham Lincoln, but he was angry little boy until we got right till right when the ceremony started, he stopped crying, walked up there, did his thing, uh, and he was fine. But until then, he just cried for like two hours straight. So I, I know the pain of that one. It was, it was a good time had by all though. We had, we had fun, uh, you know, it was just a couple little bumps, uh, a lot of fun dancing, and it was good to see the whole Wonderland clan together. Uh, uh, Uncle Ted actually took um, went out with me and Connor, and we we had like an arcade day, which was fun in Lake Church Village. 
uh, which has a lot of arcades, none of which go by the hours they list on websites, which was great. Uh, one said they were open at, for, during summer hours from 9 to blah, 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 and then regular hours from 10 to blah, blah, blah. So we get there, we're like, we'll just get there at 10, and then, you know, because who knows if it's summer still for them. It's technically off-season, right? And so we get there, and uh, they're closed. That was the thing. And so we go to a different place that was luckily open, uh, and then we go back at 11 because we really wanted to go to that arcade because in that arcade they had a 10 foot screen, 10 by 7, 10 foot by 7 foot screen with space invaders and it was like a light gun kind of thing that you shoot at the screen and it was super fun. We, we finally got there, but we get there like 11, 10, they're still open. And so we're just like, and we convinced Connor to leave the other place which he was having a great amount of fun in because we're like, you're going to have so much more fun at this place. And, like, and then we get there and it's closer and it's like. Let's have an early lunch. Internal quickly. screaming, internal screaming. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and so, so finally the guy opens up like 11.15, and we're just like, what, the, what, dude, what? He's like, I do what I want. You yeah, walk past you. Yeah. He's like, I'm an arcade, I, could, I just make money. You bump your shoulders. Um, and and uh, it was funny, because the, the first place we went to, like, basically we used up the, the money, we put $20 in a card in each place, and we basically used up the money in the first place in a very timely fashion. The second place took forever to, like, it was just, we're just using money, but nothing has happened. Like, it's just taking too long. So we ended up going to this little claw machine that was like, play till you win, but it was 20 points off the card, which was a lot for that place, a piece. So we're like swiping and like everyone, but the only thing was in, that was in the machine was fidget spinners. <laughs> so Connor got his first fidget spinner, guys. And he loves it. He calls it a spinny spinner. And he doesn't spin it. He just kind of looks at it and holds on to it. Spinny spinner! And I'm like, yep, yeah, it's a spinny spinner. Sure, man. But I got one for for mommy, and one for Bud, and I got one for Uncle Ted. You get one for yourself? I didn't, I already have one. That track sucks. Uh, let's talk about some stuff, man. Let's so, talk about because uh, over this weekend it wasn't just uh, Ryan and Kristen's wedding; it was also New York Comic Con this weekend. Yeah, the second most important thing <sighs> that I missed out on again. Uh, uh, you missed out on all the good stuff this weekend. <laughs> What a loser. Never mind, I'm changing my story of uh, everything was not that bad. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so it was New York Comic Con. Um, so uh, Jess's uh, parents and her two oh. of her brothers went. I think uh, the four Thursday days or Friday. Friday. They went Thursday, Thursday, Friday. Thursday Friday. Um, I actually on Friday I watched a good portion. Uh, Mark Hamill posted an Instagram like live chat video of himself going like doing his uh, uh, autograph, not autograph, uh, the picture part of the, sure. the photo part. And then he posted a, a, a live chat of him walking through the crowd and how it, he was pretty nervous and afraid. Like he, And basically, like, they were, like, trying to protect him because everyone was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, and he's like, out, yeah. people are just, like, like, getting thumped as he's walking around. And he's, like, he, like, the person who was filming him just, like, in his face, like, because <laughs> he really, uh, and I saw this from the picture thing, he is really about engaging his fans, so it kind of like, it almost felt like he wanted to like, hug all these people, but he couldn't. He had to go to a spot, and it would have taken him forever to get there, or he would have had sure. his limbs ripped off, and yeah, he would have sold been on eBay. I have a pizza in his arm! <laughs> yeah. He I have his, his hand! I have his hand, hand anyway! He uh, lost his hand anyway, it's cool. He got a robot one. Um, but like, it, it, it was cool, because like, if there's a person who was in a wheelchair, he'd actually come out of the, of the booth and go in the, the line and have them take the picture with him, so they didn't have to wheel him all the way through the, the, the minutiae of the crowd. It was really cool. And every person he came up to, he'd be like, like he'd take a picture of him like that, you know, like a big hug, and it was, it's like, I want him to be my best friend. Uh, who doesn't? But, Just, but it was, it was, it was a cool thing to see, and it was probably about like 45 minutes worth of him just taking a picture of people, so it was kind of cool. Speaking of Mark Hamill, let's get right into this. Sure. What are we getting into? The Last Jedi trailer. Dropped. Okay. Well, we have a lot of trailers to drop from there, but this was probably the best one. That's what I'm saying. This is uh, me leading into this. There's a couple cool ones, but this was the best one. Uh, Last Jedi trailer um, was very confusing, but it was very cool to see a lot of stuff in it. Um, they really uh, feel like they're, the, they're trying to play off insecurity and dark side stuff. A lot of misdirects, and like it was trying to like, we're not spoiling anything, or are we? Or are we not well, spoiling anything? I, I think we? it was like, like the, <sighs> the first one that, that maybe they felt like they gave you too much of, like, this is going to be exactly what you think it is. So then they, the second one, they're like, it's going to be nothing what you think it is. All of it is different. Yeah, and like, there was a ton of, and, and to, to play on that, you're, you're right, yeah. I, I think, because it, to yeah. play on that, they played a ton of different footage. Yeah. Like, a lot of different footage. Yeah, they, uh, they had a pork. And there was a pork saying something. On the Millennium Falcon. It was on the Millennium Falcon. 
I'm still on board with porks. And they're, they're, they feel so good to me. They are adorable. I'm all the way. I'm all in. I want to give your plushy pork yet, Porks. Matt? I want it. I'm going to get one. I'm going to go. Mish Moopy in there. Ah! Or whatever the fuck they get. Porg! They probably say their own name because they're assholes like that. Porgs. You walked and said their own name, right? You didn't have to. That would be awesome if they did. Ewok! 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 That was uh, a yub yub. Yub 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 yub. Um. But uh, I thought like, they said the, the the racist thing you do when you're like doing someone else's language. Yeah, but nope, nope, nope. Like yeah. Ching Chong, Bing Bong. You're like, no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, but uh, they they did have a lot of cool lightsaber spots. They had some fight footage where it showed they uh, had the electric they time was back. Man, confirmed. Yeah, confirmed electric time. He, he got it from T T R eight. Yeah, Trader Trader Trader. Tra- I think right. his name was. Uh, they, they didn't show it, but I'm pretty sure he brought it to him. Not a traitor. I guess. He's like, traitor, you take this, okay? <laughs> We're friends again. That guy got murdered. He was dead. Uh, <laughs> I'm his brother, and I, he said he wanted you to have this. I'm like, oh. He was not mad at you at the time of his death. <laughs> actually, I was there. Actually, that. he did this will way before the traitor thing. He tried to change it, so this is still yours, buddy. Thanks. Uh, but it showed him fighting uh, Captain Phasma with it, her new. But then, in like in like a, like a couple seconds later in the trailer, it also showed him like in handcuffs, and you're like, he lost that fight. Uh, he went ahead Or was this fight. after that? Right, I think he lost the fight. Well, no, because there's a he's him and the other new uh, girl are going to be on Rose. They're going to be on the Death Star, and I think they're going. I know they're going to get caught. Not the Death Star, but like one of the Star Destroyers, and they're going to they're going to get caught 100. percent um, Death Star confirmed. Probably because Captain Phasma is going to see his face, which she's seen it before. So, so what did you like you know about that guy? What did you like about the trailer? Um, I liked how addled Luke was. Like Luke had, had Mark Hamill's face in a lot of the scenes was from frightened to yeah. It almost confirms that he's at least, he's at least gray if he's not going completely dark because of how I think free he was. Like, I fear is the like, dark side, right? I feel like a lot of it too is he's almost turning into the Yoda of it. Like he, but Yoda wasn't like afraid. But Yoda things. was eclectic and insane. I think sure, he's sure. gonna have a lot of eclectic shit because he's been on this place by himself for a bit, now. just with porgs and those little, yeah. little fish wives. All he's been talking is little little porgs and little, little, little weird fish, fish, fish ladies, fish nuns, the fish nuns, um, whatever their names are. And you know he's obviously had some issues. That's why he was hiding there too. Uh, and his last real interaction with humans was all his students getting murdered. So, <laughs> like. Uh, Oh, um, well, I guess you suck as a teacher. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, Way to bring balance to the forest, loser. There's going to be a lot of issues. Uh, especially uh, because they've already confirmed, uh, but not confirmed, that Kylo Ren is going to be on Octo. Maybe with the Knights of Ren. Um, and so, or maybe being having a friendship off with uh, with Rey, huh? You saw it in the trailer, too. They they could be, in, and it's complicated. They could be like a... Cause there's no, there's not going to be any real interaction between Finn and Rey. So having them as a love story is off the table, at least for this. Well, and that's why they introduced Rose. Why, why else they introduce Rose? No reason. So now maybe the love story is between Kylo and Rey, and maybe they're that one of big nose damn driver. But maybe Ooh, maybe one of them there. is trying to get the other one to the lighter dark side. And I actually would like that. I would like yeah. if they were like if they were like kind of tugging. And yeah. like, you come here. No, you come here. Yeah. No, you come here. Yeah. Like that'd be fun. Yeah. That could be fun. That's I I thought this a while back, and then when I saw that scene, it really kind of confirmed that there's going to be an it's complicated at least type relationship. I didn't like the still shots of Leia uh, of Carrie Fisher. I thought it was she's kind dead? of dumb. Wow. I thought it was just so dumb. Well, that's why it's oh. like she's definitely in the still. It's like it's just literally it's not her reacting to anything. It's like. And I'm kind of hoping it's, it's part of me kind of hopes it's that she's sure like oh it's kind of making you think that Kyle is going to kill her, but I'm kind of hoping that she does because at least she's written off correctly. Like sure, but also supposedly she's not going to die in this. That's what I heard. And then what do you do for the next one? Like she dies off camera, or like do you have do you bring the grandma There's CGI no thing she, and she has a broken heart? But you got to like put her in there somehow. You have to finish off her character. So yes, how? heart attack. Ah. How? How you know that's why I, I maybe mean, you know it'd be funny if they had like a shot of her at craft services and they just had her like like they pretend she choked on a ham sandwich or something. This ham sandwich, no, so good. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Or maybe they talk about she had a really bad spice addiction. That they <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, it's like I love death sticks. Like oh man, death sticks are bad. 
Um, they're called death sticks, guys. Don't so, do them. So you, did you, or did you not like this trailer? Because you give me conflicting. I don't advice. know. I don't know if I like the trailer. Like, I really, I'm still really excited for Star Wars. And I'm super more excited for Luke. I, I, I definitely will see it for Mark Hamill. But I didn't like the, like, the misdirects. Where it's like, and you can tell just I got the, what they were doing. Just from the camera cuts. They, but they do it, and it's, it's so cliche in trailers now. Where it's like, I'm going to say a thing. I'm going to say a thing, too. And it's like a guy in a different part of the movie. And you're like, it's clearly a different part of the I movie. Got, I know. That I feel like they were like, we're giving too much where we have to like try to misdirect. Someone. But the, but like it was it felt like they were, like, they were like this is a misdirect like like they could have said like like Ray Pop like this is oh, a misdirect this is a misdirect this is jelly with misdirect hmm it's me this is really hi misdirect hi was that Leia's accent I'm confused yeah um, she's uh, British I I got hit in the head and I turned British um okay. So let's talk about some of these other trailers because you know there's a lot of stuff that dropped in your comic can I just made you watch oh, some of them comic can. Uh, well, how about that Justice League trailer, huh? Justice League trailer is probably the best thing you've seen. Yeah. So man, Aquaman, you're uh, doing bro, Aquaman. Hey, bro. <laughs> I, think, I think we shouldn't talk as much about the trailer as we should about our, how we feel about Aquaman. Because I, I, I found out that today that we feel differently about Aquaman in this movie, and I, I like that. I don't know. I don't know why you feel. I don't know why you feel him. the way you do. He's the goddamn king of it of Atlantis. Yeah, this is with uh, this is king. a movie. That, this is a movie. Okay, he's so first, the king let's, of Atlantis. Let's let's. let's, let's Let's solidify our positions how for a small people. How dare you? No, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? Um, so, so Matt did not like Jason Momoa in this trailer at all. I want to like his character, but when they're trying to be bro Aquaman, fuck you. See, that's as bad as emo Flash. For me, this, that be worse in this Flash movie, Man. this fits perfectly. Because... You have dumbass Batman. I can't watch like, this movie. Like he's stupid. <laughs> I have premonitions. I wonder what they mean. Like he's stupid. Who also has he has a power. You have a weird naive he's flash. Batman. You have dry milk toast cyborg so far. They've shown nothing. You don't even know what guy. he is. They've shown nothing. What? Is, what? <laughs> well, no, he's, he's made for the mother box. Basically. I know what he's made from. I know what cyborg characters, but they've showed nothing of what he is. He's just there. Yeah. He, he is also not going to work. I'm also here. Yeah, that's and that's he's talking black. And he catches him, he's like, Shaka Bra. Yeah, like, yeah. Cowabunga. Cowabunga dudes are going to spare. Go up and try to spare. I'm going to spare him. That's why I love Please it. Please I mean, I want to. I want to see the Aqua movie more than ever right now. I hope he just... It's like a Baywatch sequel. It's, it's like, just oh. surfing. He's just yeah. surfing the entire time. He's like, The Rock is in this movie. Like, just, just put everybody in this movie. Like... <laughs> Do you think Matt? Okay, uh, Zach Efron. Confirm right now. Zach the Efron. Rock is Black Manta. Zach Efron is Black Manta. That's how they're hey up man, up. Uh, they're gonna white Black Manta. Even though he's a black guy, technically. <laughs> yeah, but Jason Momoa, yeah, Aquaman's super white. Yeah, so there you go. Let's switch it. Race switching for for both characters. But uh, you know what? To be honest with you, though, this is the best. Uh, just League trailer, I think. I really like it's the, the shiniest, cool. the shiniest piece of poop. Yeah, yeah, the shiniest piece of poop. It really is. Uh, but like, they gave you like th they're trying to set up Stephen Wolf as the actual bad guy and not like, hey, there's something else. Yeah, they're trying to. They're trying. They're trying. Also, Stephen Wolf, the fifty third best villain. To <laughs> be she was not available. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna do it, guys, but I died. Yeah, I died. Uh, but um. Peter. All right, that's all I gotta say about it. Okay, Pacific Rim two. I just put oh no, me you put me sandwich Pentecost. Uh, finally, we got to see uh, John Boyega's uh, Idris Elba sign Idris Elba accent. Yeah, <laughs> Idris Elba impression. I like that. I like that. It was good. It's fine for me. This this movie is, and see that's I felt the same way about Aquaman as I feel about this movie. It's going to be cheesy. There's no chance it's not going to be cheesy. Like there's yeah, no so chance. The, the missiles that like come apart and then they come together for some reason. Yeah, like, like, that just seems like a waste of energy. Yeah, why did you, honestly? You're just wasting. Just fire them together. Fire the first of all. Together. There's so much. Like, effort to make them come back together. Like, like was there an obstacle you went around? No, it just came apart to her, like, show. That's odd. Uh, there's no robots fighting robots. Yeah, and then, which is what everyone was honestly asking for. Come on. And uh, then there's bigger kaiju. You yeah, like, the size of, like, just way too big. Like, yeah, like, they're, like, 2,000 feet tall now. Like, like, the fact that that kaiju ridiculous. exists means that, like, part of the world is gone. Yeah, like, he came up out of something. He's like the size of, like, a whole city. And he comes out of something. The entropy of him coming from something yeah. is just... It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, well, it's like, it's like like fucking a super volcano erupting. Because he's so big. But they're just... We're going to write that off. Yeah, but he's coming from, like, a different dimension, right? That's like the... 
I hope but, so. Oh yeah, and the dimension looks like it's the portal looks like it's inside the city. Like the, it came out yeah. of the one city. Which, that we're at. You're ripping the fabric of reality yeah. into a hole that big. It's something fucked up. Like I feel like it's a black hole or something. Yeah. Like that's that's not something fucked up. The energy yeah. that creates that is not good. Yes, yeah, I mean none of it's real. So I guess we're, we have that. Yeah, why are we arguing about this? But they have some good. <laughs> they have some good cameras. Charlie Day is back. I see Charlie Hunt is back. Charlie Hunt is not in there. That's a good thing in my opinion. He lived, he right? The I don't even remember. Did he live? I don't remember. Hey, of course he lived. They'll probably, they'll probably kill him off like they did uh, Captain Stephen Hillary in uh, Independence Day. Yeah, he like went into the alien planet and then like, like then oh, he, he's coming back out now. He, and then he didn't escape somehow. Um, What's we going to do with that? Uh, like, yeah, I'm still here, guys. That's how uh, the Stagger Pentecost is gone somewhere, too. Mm-hmm. No, he died. Like, he was, like, right, dying. Yeah, he, yeah, he was, like, dying. Oh, I'm know? dying of a random illness. I have illness. a rare oh. random illness no, that really illness. will kill me by the end of this. I'm going to be the gun so slinging my time out of you. Meaty Sandwich takes over. Well, Dad died, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, I'm not now. Finn, okay? I'm different than Finn. Um, That's one okay. for my giant bag, which yours is, I think it was better. I'm going to give you you the win on this one. Thank you. Because I'm the only one who wrote the poll. Okay, so. I put... Two TV shows, but there's also a third one, uh, the Electric Dreams. So we'll do that one first. Uh, Electric Dreams was at Amazon exclusive. Philip K. TV Dick's show. Electric Dreams. It's basically, I think it's kind of like a like kind of a mashup of his short stories. It looked like I want to say his first the the book that Blade Runner is based on is called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Yes. Um, and so I think have you read the book? Yes, I have. And I think this is from what it looks like this is more of uh, a closer to that story version of. Like maybe like before. It felt the like there's other happened. stories in there. There's other stories yeah. in there too. Sure. Yeah. It looked like it might have been an anthology series, um, which because it felt I a lot more fun. hard sci-fi in different directions, than, which I liked. I liked. It definitely that. felt like anthology to me. Oh, certainly, like the, certainly. The, like the there's show. like maybe all the, all the stars. Maybe are in maybe it. they're gonna Black Mirror where like each one's kind yeah. of a different yeah. uh, issue in that sure. world kind of thing. Maybe. Uh, they had like stars like uh, that could be fun. Like Anna Paquin. Um, so cool. Uh, they had uh, Brian Cranston. They had um, I am the one who knocks. Uh, uh, Keep Michael, going. Michael doing all the impressions. Uh, Keep going. We got another one. Michael Shannon. No, yeah, yeah. I am Michael yeah. Shannon. I'm really weird. Uh, I have a weird face. <laughs> who was in that? I just want to hear Michael Shannon. He was in that. Uh, he was in that trailer for uh, <laughs> the the cover as Thomas Thompson. Yeah. Thompson. What was that thing? The Current like, War. I was super excited at, about that. And I like Nicole Tessa. That was the most exciting trailer made be- for no reason. Like, just I was for just being like, nerds. What? Like, what is going on? And a new player comes. Nicole Tesla is like, yeah. I'm the, the Rat Pack Bunch Punk. I'm going to take you down, Edison. <laughs> also, Edison stole all Nicole Tesla stuff. We didn't mention that part. Also, uh, he <laughs> stole Westinghouse's stuff. And then, after stealing his stuff, was basically the like, man, Edison yeah. like a hero. He's like, yeah, uh, that guy sucks. Westinghouse, yeah, the electric chair is named the Westinghouse. So just think of death when you think of Westinghouse and, like, literally did that. Like, fuck They, they played that movie. Fuck like, you. Did that, that. <laughs> uh, and also, Ben, they come out, you're going to use his American accent again. So I was like, yeah, all right. He's like, I'm American. I'm American from I'm America. America. American, American. He has a better American accent than Charlie Hunnam. But, uh, okay, that wasn't, even, doesn't, that wasn't even a trailer we were talking about. Who that doesn't. was just one we just came up with. Okay, so let's go to, we got more shows. The Runaways trailer. How about that? The Marvel's. Oh, Marvel's Runaways. I was going to sing the, I thought it was with the making of the song, Runaways. Run, 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 wait. It wasn't. It wasn't that. So this is a great Marvel property. It's basically uh, these these kids with they're super friends. Powers. They're all friends. They're, they're friends, and, and their their parents are friends. That's why they became friends. Yeah. So they, they go to meet their parents this one night and find out that their parents are all super villains. And they're like, they're basically like the trying to hatch a plot to, yeah. like, to overthrow, the world, yeah. overthrow the world, you know. Uh, and so now they run. They run away because they don't want to be super villains. They because that's be. shitty. Yeah. And the parents are like really cool. Otherwise, yeah. Like, well, that's that's the thing. Like the parents seem like cool dudes, but yeah. then they get together and like, ah, oh, we're gonna just kill everyone or something. And you're like, ah, like that's nah, nice out. Cubs We don't want to do that. And, but um, they they all have fun powers. Uh, you know, what is the second link to a dinosaur? I don't know if that's in. The tra- I didn't show that in the trailer, so I don't know if that's. They had a uh, jewel. Jewel is that her shit? No, no Jules. Is, Jules. Jules. <laughs> His hands are small. I know. Oh, Crystal. Crystal. Yeah, I was gonna Crystal. Say, J- Jules, Jules is uh, actually the name of, uh, of Jessica Jones when she was a superhero. That's right. Right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Crystal. Crystal's a. Oh, uh, 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 Crystal's the Inhuman. Are you sure it's Crystal? She's the one with the sparkly pounce. Yeah, sparkly, sorry. shiny. No, she can like. I'm bright like a diamond. Oh, shit, now I gotta look it up. I I know. Yeah. I'm pretty no, sure because Crystal's in, Crystal's an inhuman. She's. I think. I think it might be Crystal though. But well, they might have the same. They, that yeah. was in my phone. But N- Nico Minora was the one I was really excited about because she's an awesome character in A Force. 
uh, which uh, which is now a defunct comic, which is basically the female Avengers. All, I used to know all their names. I can't remember any of them. Right now. Uh, but but uh, she, her her power is that she's she's a, has basically a limited magic power, but she can only and she can do any spell she wants. But she can only and she has to have a primer word for it, and she can only use the primer word once. So so she can be like. Uh, car and a car will appear, or she can be like heal, and someone will, will heal of their wounds. She can even say resurrect or something, and someone will come back to life. But if she says it again, fucked up in stuff spell happens. form. She could say heal in a sentence, but it was, well, well, no, no, it, that's why it's like a primer word. So yeah. like, like she's like heal, like or something. It, you know, I know there's a in vulnerable. It's not every time she says the word, a, that'd be messed up. One of the girls in vulnerable. I'm going to the store, and then like she's going and she's at the store. There's like the dinosaur kid. There's one girl that's invulnerable. There's a dude that like has magnet electromagnetic powers. Yeah. There's a yeah, uh, um, and then there's the chick who can. I think it's. Well, there's someone that was, like, an inventor and they could, like, travel back in time and stuff like that. And, just, and there's, the girl can, like, I think she has like, elemental powers, like, um, Crystal, I thought it was Crystal. Well, Crystal yeah. does have elemental powers, but she's not, she's, she's in the human. I don't know, I'll have to look at, I'll have to look it up again. But, um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be cool. It, it, it's more CW-ish, but it's on Hulu. Uh, but it's like what more of like I think a it's fun. kids it's, show. It, it definitely yeah, gives it gives a nice twist, like a like a YA. Uh, well, something kind of, I can watch with Aiden too. So I I, I kind of like hopefully that. yeah. There is some murder in that. In that we did watch, so. watch we watched the gifted. <laughs> we watched the gifted uh, together and it was it was okay. It was good. Uh, yeah, I actually watched the gifted too. I just didn't want to say on It was really good. That's why you said oh I watched it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> she doesn't watch. It's okay. Um, do you want to find the podcast? Uh, so, okay, and then we have Future Man. This was one that I'd heard of, impressed. and it popped the up most on my radar, us. and I hadn't heard it, and then we saw that the trailers actually dropped it on uh, New York Comic Con. You had a good, you had a good, uh, a, uh, a good comparison of what, what this was. You said, you said Ready Player One meets, um, I said Ready Player One meets Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter yeah, because yeah, it, it's like this kid that doesn't know, basically he's really good at, he's good at nothing, it's a video games. <laughs> And uh, then when he beats the video game, like the people of video, like people from the future come back. They're like, "Hey, we put this video game here to find out who could help save us in the future." And they have to be so the you're video it, game. yeah. And you beat the video game. He's like, "I'm the kid." Yeah, like, I I bought this with my allowance. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was it was funny. Josh Hudson was very uh, very funny in it. There's a lot of cool scenes in it. There's people you've seen and stuff uh, like the girl who was on the like the tenth season of Scrubs or whatever. It was oh, yeah, nice season. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but it was it's funny. I felt like there were stakes to it. It felt like you yeah. know. Yeah, but there's a lot of the slapstick funny. It's actually, I, I, I told you, I was like, I'm kind of upset that I like Josh Hutchinson in this because I've liked hating him for so long. But I was like, I, I hate watch him. this. I hate him in Hunger Games. He is terrible in that yeah, movie. I hate in all his movies. Uh, and he was really good in this. He was very interesting. Yeah. It looked like a lot. I definitely want to watch it. Yeah. Um, I think it was an that Amazon might be, series. Was it Amazon? Okay. Yeah, it was I wasn't sure if it was Hulu or Amazon. Or... I think I remember seeing Amazon in there. But... I know it comes out in November. One of those two. It's pretty soon, so. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for trailers. Uh, I have one more trailer. No, no. Aquabro, I put that on there. Oh, and it's also confirmed for the, this is a callback to the Justice League trailer. It's confirmed the Flash dust trip. <laughs> Good, in case you're wondering. Why? What? At okay. least one trip. Well, yes. you know, he's really getting used to his power, so he has to trip. I'm sure you have one more Did good thing in there. Did he like, blow up a building? I'm sure you have one more good thing in there, so I'm going to say... Uh, Colonel Sanders is a playable character, confirmed for WWE 2K18, Matt. You can play as Colonel Sanders. Huh? Huh? Guys, if you're like, that, uh, supposedly this is a creative character, somebody, like, I think you can... It's like, like a lot of people in the creative character menu, so basically, okay. like, they're gonna have, like, his parts oh. to put together for... You know, you know what they do? Sometimes, uh, they do, like, a, uh, fully functioning call, like, like, hey, you could pick this guy, this yeah. guy wears, like, clown shoes, they probably have Colonel Sanders in there, so I'm okay. guessing. They put the glasses on, they put the mustache... I, I'm like, guessing you don't even have to do that, I'm guessing it's just, like, the full character's already made, you just pick them and... Give yeah, them you don't, though, I like, I still like that, I like to have the option to be Colonel Sanders if I want to be. Because who doesn't want to be like probably now, a racist guy? When, when do you think they're going to get Burger King though? I think it's going to be well, D- DLC. 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 Okay. DLC. All right. and maybe do you think they're going to be like maybe a tag team? Wendy in the ladies division? Sure. What type of sexy Wendy? The, so- the obviously, Sonic. Obviously sexy Wendy. The Hedgehog. The so- okay. That, that worked too but I was thinking like uh, I'm, starting to I'm thinking Ron McDonald doing the clown tag team. Or maybe that's like a, like an alternate alternate costume for uh, the Jerry part. the King Lawler and the Burger King. Alternate well, class costume again. Perfect. Yeah, he basically is a clown. I, I think the Burger King, King would, the Burger King would finish people off the pile driver, so it makes sense. 
And maybe just a punch with like something in Also, no one does a pile driver really anymore because it's because they're illegal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're banned mostly, uh, for the most part. Um, they the um, uh, Cesaro does one. Okay. He's like a good for him. He also neutral, a neutral. He was not just doing goddamn teeth out. So. Now he's got the he's got a mouthpiece now. Just keep those keep those teeth safe. Wolf. Keep them safe, bud. Keep them safe. Um, okay. Shinsuke Nakamura and him both. <sighs> um, Liam Cunningham, the guy who plays Dallas. Shinsuke Nakamura lost again, and I'm. <sighs> That master made no sense to me. But, you know what? You know what, though? Jinder Hall putting out his... This, yeah. He's living his greatest life he's, right no, now. He's working. He's working. He's living his greatest and life. And it makes sense. They're trying to get him... Like, this dude was the least likable member of the three-man band, okay? That's saying something. And the one you think would go the... And now he's the modern day modern go the And now he's had the championship. He's had the, the SmackDown championship longer than AJ Styles had it. No, <laughs> AJ Styles is a piece of crap. But, no, AJ Styles is amazing. First of all, <laughs> full piece of crap. First of all, I hate it. I just said so First much. of all, amazing. But, Modern Day Mama Raja had one. Okay, so let's go to what I was trying to say. Liam Cunningham said that Game of Thrones will start Liam filming Cunningham. in the next two weeks. You mean the, the, the last, last season. season? Last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I said that they are. They are already have done one table read. They're doing a second one. Uh, maybe yesterday. I think I said Monday. What? But, and then so I missed it? He said within the next week or so they're going to start filming. Nice. Yeah. So, so, it's it's so 2020 going. release, you think? Yeah, so 2019 it is, I think. Like the beginning of 2019, but uh, okay. Maybe a summer blockbuster two hour do you movie. Think, do you think they, uh, Sam Tully's heart will make it that long? Like, do you think he'll just die of like a some kind of cholesterol? He's got it. Ass? He's got it, man. That kid is, he's young and spry in real life. He just mm. looks extra fat in, in the show. How about Hot um, Pie? You think Hot Pie will make Hot Pie, no. <laughs> I don't know how he was still alive. I guess. I'm gonna say not making it. I feel like he was on a ventilator like before and after scenes. <sighs> He's like, I eat too many pies. You're like, yeah, you're right, bud. Um, here's something else that you're gonna love. I think just get ready. Go first, go like this, like plug your ears so like you have no negative noise, and then open your ears back up again. I'm like, do it the cat and cow like the sit and then no, just do it, just do it. You're gonna right when you feel there's no negative noise left. Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, crossover. What? Okay, so everyone knows that Fear the Walking Dead kind of new and shitty. Because it's dumb? Yeah, because it's the Walking Dead now. It's, it's, it's as if with characters that are less likable mm. and less recognizable. Um, and with less synergy now, and less cohesion. Here's the thing. Fear the Walking Dead's still way behind the timeline, so is this going to be like a, like a prequel character? Here's what I'm thinking. Look like a cool scar, man. I'm thinking maybe Abraham Rosita. Because Abraham's from like a Texas area, and I think they're heading towards Texas right now, uh, the Fear the Walking Dead people. So I'm thinking maybe Abraham meets up with them first somehow. It's just, hey, come visit us It's not going to be Rick or Daryl even. Like I don't think so. I was Merle. Maybe Daryl. But D- Daryl doesn't look as, even close to being as young as he did in the first season. Meryl, maybe. Um, cause he just looks, he looks he's like bald. Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker <laughs> always looks about the same. Yeah, that, uh, seriously though, look it up. He looks exactly the same. Um, but, uh, I'm thinking maybe Abraham, since he's not on the show anymore. It's like a chocolate pretzel. Um, Rosita. Cause she's not on the show anymore. Well, she is still. She, I think she is. Um, but, uh, but they were maybe two. Wait, why, is, why is Abraham not on the show? Oh, he did. Um, he got negan Negan. Spoiler alert, I guess. Really, really. Spoiler alert. You should be caught up, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you should be caught up. I caught up to that episode, and that's it, though. You did not watch the rest of that. Yeah. Um, okay. What do you got? Let so I saw go. the first episode of, uh, the first two episodes, actually, of Star Trek Discovery, and they were very good, I thought. Wow, they were good, huh? I thought they were very good. Uh, so, so, uh, so Nick Martin Green uh, from The Walking Dead, speaking of The Walking Sasha. Dead, say, huh? So he's Sasha The Walking Dead, plays a character named Michael Burnham. I, Michael is this her name. Uh, she's actually a human raised by Vulcans because uh, her parents are killed and she's taken in by a, a Vulcan I'm character. Give her a boy's name because they're jerks. Well, her parents gave her the boy's name, but but uh, she's uh, basically the, the two. The first couple is like a prequel kind of like they're kind of setting up like her character. Baby. No, she's just younger. And and, and uh, this is where Michelle Yao's character comes in. Okay. Uh, the mentor, she's she's the captain of the ship. I can't remember the name of the ship. It's not the Discovery. It's something else. It's like the the uh, or something like that. It's not racist. And um, no, it's it's actually look it up. It's what it is. Um, and so it's the, the Hong Kong Fui. It's basically their the, their first contact, um, and how the war with the Klingons starts. 
And basically, it's kind of it's almost kind of started by her Michael Burnham's character. Like the, the, the so now character. we know. Now we've got a canon now, and, and kind of by accident, but then also on purpose at the same time. And it, it's it. They, Are you saying she's sorry? She's this, not sorry. Yeah, yeah. She literally like insubordinate, and this kind of started. It's a little bit of spoilers for this, but it's, it's like she's kind of insubordinate, and it's it, it kind of starts them on this path. And uh, supposedly, though, is in the, in the third and onward episodes, she's on the Discovery, and, uh, you know, so somehow not insubordinate, I guess. I don't know. So yeah. even though she told the world, like, it's cool, we'll, we'll just yeah, play they, like, We now. forgive in the future. You don't get court martial or anything. Yeah, like, like you should. You literally were relieved of your position, but, okay. Uh, cool, but cool, 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 cool. There's still some potential. The, the Klingons look cool, but weird. They look a lot different than the uh, Klingons in um, uh, the Next Generation or in the original series. What about the movie? Uh, the movies too. The new movies. They're not in the new movies. Klingons are in the new movies. Oh, uh, they're in those weird suits. Yeah, I forgot about that. They're in the second movie. Yeah, they're in that weird suit thing. Do you see the faces at all? I don't think you do. Yes, you do. I remember that. You do. I don't remember. Those movies are not rememberable. Mm-hmm. Not they're not remarkable. Uh, um, but yeah, so. That's it for that. I, I think there's potential, but there's not a lot of sci-fi yet, and that's that kind okay. of is uh, troubling to me. It, it, but it also is kind of indicative of how society wants to see their stuff. They want to see the action. They want to get the meat and potatoes. They don't want to eat any of those nice vegetables anymore. Oh, speaking of potential, guess who is joining The Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3? Um, Tom Mulling. Matt Ryan as Constantine. That's me. There's flames there. We're going to add flames there later. Were you? Um, we'll put them in post. Um, the, uh, how big was your boner there? Was it full stock? Oh, uh, I got not get the power when I saw mm-hmm. that. <laughs> I, lo- I loved him. Wife, him. come to me. Like, I know, Matt. You were like... Sit the, upon my loins. You're the uh, biggest You're the biggest proponent mark. of him. As, I'm a mark. It's yeah. okay. Um, and he was great. And, and there, he's going to be... But also you like Legends Tomorrow, right? You've watched the first few seasons. I did. So, so that's good. Uh, and they are, they are there. They're for sure they're better than the humans. <laughs> Those are seasons. <laughs> they're definitely seasons of they're shows. They're definitely full seasons <laughs> of shows. <laughs> they're very popcorn-y, but, and actually not corny at times, but it was, it's, they're still fun. They're better than... They're kind of nice... Right, and you're, I'm thinking your biggest... You're the, uh, you're, your favorite character is probably Heat Wave. The yeah. Adam. Obviously. Heat Wave. I love the Adam. Brandon Routh just doing it. It's like, I was Superman once, guys. <laughs> Superman. Yeah, remember that movie? Holy No moly. one remembers that movie. Oh, yeah. Kevin Spacey was Lex Luthor. Still a better Lex Luthor and then Jesse Eisenberg. Not saying much, but... Uh, hey, do not insult me. and do not fight this man. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to see. Yeah. Um, uh, Blade Runner, number one in the box office this week, but it didn't make as much as they thought they were going to. Um, they are actually it's a had, long movie. They mapped it out in the high 60s, maybe because they saw 244 minute runtime. They said I think we should review this, Matt. I, I want to give it like a worse than... like. Bag, worse than four sex. bags of garbage. Worse bags than sex. Four bags Much of worse than sex. Four, four bags of dicks. I'm going to have four bags of dicks. A new rating we're going to have. Uh, <laughs> um, so it got, it got a little... But is four bags of dicks a good or bad rating? It depends on the day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it was in the, the $30 million range, which was enough for number one, but not I think that makes, really. that makes sense to me. Like, it, it's a long movie. It's It's very hard sci-fi. Uh, it's not relatable if you're just like a, a, a popcorn movie goer. Especially movie-goer. with a crowd, the crowd, the 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 crowd where I need all the action all the time. The people, oh, sure. that, the people that don't watch those fucking Ninja Turtle movies, yeah. and there's no way they can watch sit through this. If you watch Ninja Turtles, first off, kill yourself. Wait, we watch Ninja Turtles. Watch it. Watch the Turtles. <laughs> don't or care the yourself. Transformers movies, we'll say. Transformers movies because we didn't watch those. Yeah. You gotcha, guys. People gotcha. Think those, people think those are okay movies. If you like Mark Wahlberg, you're done. Unless it was in The Happening, which he was fantastic in. It's the trees. Well, a, They're killing us, I guess. Spoiler for The Happening. I don't care if I spoiled it, because it's stupid. It's a controversial <laughs> stance on The Happening. <laughs> I was more of a John Lake was hell of a fan of that movie. <laughs> I don't even remember what his part was in that movie. <laughs> he was like, another guy. He's just another guy, oh, guy who got killed by a tree. Oh, fuck point. that movie. Uh, <laughs> I got killed by a tree. Hey! <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for that. I only have two things left. You got nothing left? Or... I got nothing left, dude. Right. I had nothing for this Okay, one. then which one do we do? This one, uh, or this one? 
Chris. Oh, oh Jesus, both these suck. Wow. Uh, let's talk about this. We did the NYCC stuff first. Uh, Age of Shield. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about uh, John Rhys Davis first. Okay. So, uh, Indiana Jones 5 is filming very soon. And John Rhys Davies is very keen to come back as his solid character. But he's not, he's not in the movie, is he? No, he doesn't, we don't know yet. He, I would love I, to I, come I, back as my character. I kind of think he's pushing for it because they, they're not doing the Sliders movie. And so, like, Matt, that's not confirmed. It's, it's pretty much confirmed. It could, it could, Nobody asked that. Like, Please? I, like, no. I wrote it. I have a script, spec script, guys. Uh, I'm going to uh, have sex with... Uh, Emma Stone in this scene. Uh, just it's because Quinn is going back in time. Have sex with Emma Stone in her prime. Yes, no, no. I was the fat kid. Stand by me. Um, but uh, I I love to see John Rhys Davis come back. He might add a little little fun to the movie too. You know, that uh, Ipsy Ipsy terrible. Uh, I can't see this being. I hope there's more singing. We just saw Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. I can't see. I hope they, 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 exciting I, in this movie. I hope they reprise the bad date scene if they do that. Bad dates. Mm, it's really dead monkey. Um, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. I would love. I think he would actually add something, a reason for me to go see it because he was great in those movies. Well, and he'd be a little light heart, lighter hearted. And it's how that young kid got his start. I'm just joking. It's not at all. Uh, don't say if you do say angry, ang- angry yeah, email send them to schoolfriendsband at gmail.com. because we don't check their emails. We don't check email at all. No. <laughs> There could be like gigs and stuff. We never looked. No, at like, nope. Uh, there's nothing. I have Tom Wade did you have it? It's like Vista Print is like, hey, come back to Vista Print. It's like we have your Geo City <laughs> site ready. Uh, <laughs> Angel Fire wants you back. I'm like, okay, um, okay. And the last thing I have is Agents of the Shield has a set release date for season five. It's just Agents of Shield, but yes, Agents of the Shield. That's what I said. There's no matter. Right? Agents of the Shield. Um, December first. I am the Shield. December first. They're my agents. December thirty first. Oh, first. First. That's weird. First. Okay. What do you think the storyline is going to be of this? Because they're kind of out of storylines, right? Like, um, album game. It's going to be Secret Avengers storyline. They're going to do a crossover. Everyone's going to be a scroll. Supergirl. It was a scroll. It could be. Who knows? Daisy's going to look great in her mm. suit. Chloe Bennett. Liz Bennett. Chloe Bennett. Um, that's all I got, man. No, man. I think this is a great episode. Thanks for coming, guys. We talked for 42 minutes, dude. This is a great episode. Good enough. We love you. Stay classy. Finn. Finn. Boom. Bye, everyone.